In this tutorial, we will practice how to optimize detection of protein spots on 2D gels with PDQuest software. We've used the Experiment Wizard to load the images into PDQuest software and to define the replicate groups. After selecting and grouping the gel images, the software will request the parameters for the analysis. We will need to provide guidance for finding the protein spots on the image. This helps the software to identify which shapes and intensities of protein spots we will consider, how individual spots or proteins are represented on all the gels, and which spots to include in further analysis. We will proceed with Use Spot Detection Wizard. For the matching option, select Warp Gel Image before matching the spots. The purpose of warping is to improve matching between the gel images when significant distortion of the spot patterns is observed. Click Next. PDQuest software automatically cleans away the speckles, which are tiny dots that appear on the gel images due to unsolvable fluorescent particles. Click Yes to approve automated speckle removal. Notice that the spot detection is a two-step process. First step, give manual guidance. Second, test settings. In the first step, define the approximate range for detecting the spots by their size and intensity. Select the largest spot, left-click on the icon, and drag the frame to select the entire spot. Select a faint spot by clicking on the icon and then clicking on a faint spot. This will give the software our visual parameters for the intensity and size range for the identifiable spots. Don't be too concerned with precision in defining which is the faintest or which is the brightest. We will use the Advanced tab to fine-tune the range for spot size and intensity. In the second step of the spot identification parameters, click Find Spot Centers. The spots detected, based on your settings, are now marked with yellow crosses. Click the Advanced tab. Here, we will optimize the spot detection parameters to detect the spots that were missed in the first round of detection when we use the visual parameters. We will optimize the parameters by changing the sensitivity, size scale, and minimum peak to detect more spots. As you alter these parameters, watch the spot count change each time you change the value for the parameter. Note that by increasing the sensitivity, the spot count number is increasing and we will continue until the spot count stops growing. Typically, the sensitivity is set somewhere between 8 and 25. Adjust the size scale to 3 to increase the spot count. Set the minimum peak height. This is the minimum peak intensity that a spot must have to be identified. When you lower this parameter, more faint spots will be detected. Be aware that image noise may be detected as spots if the minimum peak is too low. PDQuest software uses the Gaussian model to identify spots. If we click Find Spot Centers with the Gaussian button activated, the software will reset the Gaussian model based on the new parameters and recalculate the spot centers. Normally, activating the Gaussian model prevents the detection of multiple spots as a single large spot. You may use optional controls to further optimize spot detection. We have already seen this image optimization in action when we let the spot detection wizard detect and remove the most evident speckles automatically. The Speckles tab can be used if we want to set manual parameters for the speckles removal. Be aware that changing the settings in this tab will overwrite the automated speckles removal that has been performed by the spot detection wizard in the beginning. It is recommended to use the default settings. Set the background subtraction within the background tab. This background subtraction method uses a ball algorithm which works in the following way. Picture your gel in three dimensions. The protein spots form hills and mountains across the gel. Now, turn it upside down and we will have deep holes and valleys. To subtract background, we roll a ball of a specific diameter along the gel. 
a small enough ball will roll into the hole of a protein spot and subtract the part of the spot that corresponds to a wide part of the hole. However, a large ball will roll across the hole and will leave the entire depth of a protein spot intact. The radius of the background subtraction ball will define which part of the protein spot, if any, will be removed from the image analysis together with the rest of the background. We have set the radius of the background subtraction ball in step one when we selected the largest spot. Notice there are numbers for the largest spot size at the bottom of the background tab. If you make the radius of the rolling ball smaller than these values, the ball would roll into the large spot and identify it as background. In this case, an entire spot or a part of it might be removed from analysis. Click the Streaks tab. To activate streak removal, select the vertical and horizontal parameters. They are related to the size of the largest spot. Activating this function will increase the processing time, but will prevent inclusion of streaking artifacts into the protein spot analysis. The Smoothing tab contains the image filters, which are set based on the fact that we are working with 2D gel images. There is no need to change these parameters from defaults. Click Find Spot Centers to see the results of the changes of the detection parameters. When ready, click Proceed and save this parameter set. The parameter set can be reused for other experiments that are run with the same amount of protein, same gel type and stain, and imaged the same way. For example, we will reuse this parameter set when analyzing an image of a 24 centimeter gel loaded with one microgram of protein, stained with flamingo fluorescent gel stain, and imaged on a Pharos FX imaging system. If we were to load a gel with 150 micrograms of protein, we would not use this parameter set because our largest spot would have a larger diameter. Click OK to save the parameter set. At this point, PDQuest completes spot detection for the selected gel images and proceeds to analyzing the detected spots by selecting a master gel and following the subsequent steps of the experiment wizard.